Right, you join us, we're down at Conway Golf Club and we're going to do an interesting test among a number of different golfers at a number of different levels. It's the TaylorMade Tour Response Ball. We're going to test it, it was a few days ago the test took place on this same golf course when it was the average golf for 2020. The weather was a bit different. A bit different than today, yeah. It was, it was sunny, but it was blowing an absolute hooli. So we've got five golfers who have tested the golf ball, all different level handicaps. Lewis has also been playing in the testing that we're doing here this morning, and he'll give you his opinion. So we'll crack on with our testing, yep. and we're going to start off with some of the lads who had it on test on, uh, on Friday in those slightly tougher conditions. As one of our nominated ball testers. <laughs> yes. Have you still got it? I have. That's, that's it. Very low. That's all I need to know for now, mate. Good luck. <laughs> right, Damien, you're one of our, our testers today. Handicap? 13. 13. Current ball you use? TP5. Oh, so you're a tailor made user nine. as we speak. Nine. Right, so you've done what are you? Have played nine holes? Nine holes. How are you getting on? <laughs> in this wind. It's not easy. Easy. Yeah. How's the ball performing in this uh, wind? Actually, I've noticed uh, last few holes I've used it and uh, been pleased with, especially around the greens, we can get a bit yeah. jack on it. Right. Which is quite similar. It's difficult to gauge in this wind because obviously. It's so severe, isn't it? It's so severe, but um, I've been really pleased with the. The, uh, the actual short, check, game. short game. I'm getting a bit of control on the wedges. You know, I like to try and have a bit of check, do some wedge, and, uh, and, it, and it's, I'm really pleased with it. How is it off the putter? Feel wise? Yeah, fine. Yeah, really all right. Just like the TP5. Is it? I yeah, couldn't feel any difference off the putter. Well, we'll see how you get on. Have you still yeah. got them? That's the most important yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bonus. I've still so got them, yeah. I've, asked, I've, I've only seen one person so far. That's the first thing I've checked up on. He played yeah. one hole. I said, have you still got the four balls? And that's uh, that's no. got to be a good sign. Well, it's good to have you asked me after three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought I started using them uh, you know, when I started hitting the ball. Yeah. Half decent. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So far, so good. Well, go and enjoy the uh, back nine. Thanks, And uh, we'll see, uh, good luck with the rest of them. Okay. All right, good. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Brian, people have seen you on the videos before, but just remind us, handicap first of all. Eight. 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 Corn ball you play? Uh, it, it's a variety over the winter, but uh, Pro V1. Pro V1, okay. So, current thoughts on, uh, what are we, 13 holes in? 13 holes in. Well, this is my second ball, so I've lost one, which is not bad given the condition. That's the fantastic, to be fair, mate. Yeah, I'm very pleased about that. Um, so, it's, yeah, it feels very nice. Yeah. Um, holds it well, holds its line, not this sand in the wind, and it's great on the green. What do you think about that check around the greens and sort of uh, control? Good. Been yeah, all right? Some of the guys have commented more than once about how it's checking up. Right. So it's. Uh, the, when you say some of the guys, the, the, you're yeah. playing with. Yep. Yep. It's it's just been a theme throughout the uh, people. Well, when I say theme, two mm. people they've all commented about control around the greens been very positive. Mm. So that's good to hear. Yep. And uh, one also mentioned in these conditions, it seems to have uh, not a great deal of spin on it in terms of cutting through the ball, no, uh, cutting right. through the wind a bit. So that's right. Well, when I have sort of sent it awry, it's usually been my swing rather than the ball. Yeah. And the ball, I think, performing really well. Ultimately, would you uh, consider oh, playing them? No, no difficulties playing this ball as well. All right. yeah. And I just witnessed you have a power with it, so that's why you're in a good mood yeah. right now, aren't you? On, on that, three, on, on <laughs> oh, that yeah. hole, which needed a driver off the tee. Was it really? Is that what I was playing? Oh, yeah, that was 30 or 40 yards short with a four iron, which I struck pretty well. Wow. So, um, it's so tough yeah, out there. Nice up and down. Right, good to speak to you. Good, good luck for the uh, last, whatever it is, five Thank or six to go. Much. Right, Brian has completed his 18 holes. Had a decent knock, to be fair, as well. But we're talking about the golf ball. The good news is you've still got that ball that uh, we spoke about well, on 13, I think it was. I, I have, so I lost one ball today. Yeah. Um, the second ball uh, came through to the end. But I wanted to talk to you about the condition of the ball, because I know it's only been 18 holes, but in terms of the condition and how it's finished its round, scuffed up? Not, not in the least. It's got some, some marks where, where there's grass marks on it, but that's about the extent it's, of it. There's no damage to the ball. It's brand new, to be fair, isn't it? Yeah. Looking closely at that. I mean, if it gets a clean, it will be as good as gold. And y your opinion since you've finished? I know we've like got one it. shot. Hopefully, I'll be playing that over now, actually, because you may record it on the, uh, on the phone, and it looks as though it gets a bit of check again. It did, absolutely. It was on the 18th. Um, I found off the, off the tee it was reliable, didn't do anything um, it shouldn't have done. Um, but the most noticeable from the irons as you're coming into the greens, yeah. there was a, an awful lot of check that, that was on it, which yeah. surprised me. And I said, as I said, as I said to you just in the bar then that 
Uh, what you're always wary of here is that we've had. I, I suppose I've got one more person I have to speak to, and I don't know how they what I think it performed, but there's uh, there's been four very very similar positive views. Can we just testify? This isn't an endorsement of tailor-made products. It's a genuine response that everybody's given. Absolutely. You know. <laughs> I know you're laughing, but that's the kind of stick you get I, with these I, things. I am a sort of a creature of habit, so I play with a Pro V1. I've got Titleist clubs, Titleist wedges, Titleist putter. I like Titleist uh, a ball because it matches the, the back yeah. throughout. Um, when I'm playing with this, I didn't notice the difference between yeah. the performance of this and the Pro V1. Good, good stuff. Nice one, Brian, and uh, good knock today in the average golf for 2020. And thanks for uh, your feedback on the Taylor Maple. Not at all, thanks. So I've got Ian, first of all, handicap. 15. 15 handicapper. Current ball are you using? Current ball is the TP5X. Right, so you're, yeah, you're so a tailor made. Well, you're a, you, you like tailor made, to be fair. So we, we, uh, it has been uh, gathered. Yeah, yeah. By, by one or two people. So I've already said, we spoke to someone previously on the last bit that they were a tightly student. I'm trying mm -hmm. to keep this as unbiased as possible. But you like tailor made. How will this ball get on? I've been really quite surprised compared to what I usually play. Um, it's been difficult today because of the wind. You can't really get a feel for distance. Yeah, yeah. But as soon as I it like got the green side, it was like nine iron to pitching wedges and, and wedge, wedges as well. I was amazed at how well they stopped right. on the green. And how do you think that compared in, in to the TB five? Almost a level comparison. Was it? To be honest, yeah. It was. It was quite surprising. So that, I was going to say, is that surprised you? Yeah, very much. And the cover as well, it's very little scuffing on it. Yeah, well, again, little on little the last clip of the, the guy, he came in after after finish, we had a look at the ball, it's only 18 old, mm. but it was in good nick, there was yeah, no marks much. on it. So you're impressed? Still got two of them. Well, that, that's impressive. <laughs> so, even in this rain. But yeah, they still look new. Yeah. Really impressed. With, good. Uh, like I said, especially with the stopping on the greens. Yeah. So, so the ultimate question asked a few mm. people, I mean, uh, and again, would, would you buy the ball? It's, I think it's a, and again, I'm not 100%, I'll put a price up now, but I think they're around 30 quid a dozen yeah. mark. I would like to try them again, like I said, with less wind. Yeah. Just off the tee. How it performs off the tee, yeah. yeah. Um, off the fairway, with the fairway was as well, actually, they actually performed well and they kept, yeah. they kept low for me. For yeah. Reason. And I enjoyed that. But yeah, I'll, I'll test them again. Yeah. If they stack up with what I'm playing now, I'm not a big hitter. Yeah. Two, two twenty, two thirty with a driver. Yeah, yeah. But I'm consistently straight, yeah. which I'm pleased with. I'll test them against that, and if they stack up with them, yeah. You'd move not to a that. Problem. Fantastic. Yeah, not a problem. Well, thanks for testing them anyway. Thanks Appreciate that. Day. And uh, you've had a good day in the. Uh, Excellent. You've had a good oh. day at the average golfer. Twenty twenty. A bit breezy. I know, yeah. I mean, thirty points in this in this weather. Did you knock thirty points? Thirty points. Oh, that's brilliant. And I didn't blender. know you play that well. That's fantastic, <laughs> mate. Well done. <laughs> Lucky ball as well then. Yeah. Well done, mate. David, thanks again. Cheers. Right, Baddy. Yeah. First of all, mate, what handicap do you play off? Uh, play off six. Six. And is there any particular ball you would go to, to at the minute? I tend to play with the Callaway Chrome Soft. So that's probably in the same price bracket as this one, yeah. I think, anyway. Very, so very similar, yeah. How have you found it so far? You're yeah, 12 excellent. holes in. I, I was actually getting a little bit of bite on the, about 20, 20 yards sort of chips with the 9 iron and the pitching wedge. Well, that was really, really you know what I mean? And I'm gonna, I've said this now to every person I speak Four people in, everyone's commented about the oh, control on the greens. The control was perfect. And what I do like it, with it being the uh, sort of 70 compression as well, yeah. it didn't feel too soft on the putting as well. Yeah, yeah. So I still had that feel okay. on the on the putting green. And I continued to put onto the course where the, the greens were obviously cut down a little bit later yeah. as well. So Brilliant. really good. Uh, so how would you get, uh, in, your, in your price bag, always a good question, would you buy them? I would recommend that and I would, I would go and buy that ball. Yeah. I would go and buy that ball and play it. Yeah. Well, good luck, mate. I think the fact you've still got one in your hand after 12 holes is a good sign. Anyway, she must be doing all right. It's lived a little bit of a charmed life. Has it? Say. Yeah, yeah. And it's held up because it still looks new. Yeah, well, that's the other which thing, is, wear and tear, uh, which you won't know after 18 holes, but uh, that's still looking all right. Yeah. Good luck, mate, for the rest of you. And good luck with this because it's a driver on a par three, I reckon. Right, Lou, just. Played your last shot of the day with the um, with the tour response ball. It was a decent bunker shot, to be fair. But give us your sort of overall assessment. So off the tee, we've had a better day in terms of conditions to test it. Yeah, I, it's hard to not be positive about it. I think that's the the thing with golf balls is everyone's trying to seek top level performance, like you know Pro V1, TP5, Z Star type of yep. performance at a lower price point. And I think it ticks all the boxes. So. Rather than go on and say, oh, it's better here, it's better here. I think all round, it's a really good ball. I think, um, I don't know what anyone else has said. I think, you know, a few people have been positive that I've spoke to, but um, 
it definitely I could definitely put that in play what do you, I, I never I started with everybody else by saying what what we, we, we obviously know handicap wise you're a pro golfer but what ball do you play out of choice I, I sort of swap between pro v1 tp5 okay and always have done yeah um don't really notice the difference and yeah. that's as good a compliment as I can give it is yeah. I don't really notice the difference between that at all. Yeah. There is no area of the game. I'm not losing distance. Well, can, no I, just, can I just interrupt? Because I've yeah. purposely not told you the response of all this because we wanted to give it again your sort of fair assessment. Honestly, we've had, and I had to say to somebody, look, do you can just confirm this isn't a tailor-made infomercial because it, it's a hundred percent positivity. So I feel a few people, you get you get a few of them, don't you? It's just Pro V1 is the number yeah. one and they just can't get out of it. So I'm shocked at that because I thought a few people... No, and lads who are using... To be honest with you, lads, lads who all use the premium ball as well, who used, really? I think, in the main, between the Pro V and the TP5, yeah. and it was a Callaway Chrome uh, soft player in there, but they were all extremely positive. Yeah, I, I think that at its price point, you might get a few people jumping up from... Got your... a little bit of a uh, police helicopter there just interrupting your audio. I think you might get a few pe people now at the price point that it's at jumping up yeah, I don't think you get people jumping from your your, your soft fields, eighty three three threes, yeah. you know, type of balls to Pro V one, no. five. At, They've bridged that gap, haven't where, they? Whereas that, I think that's a really um, going to be a really popular ball. Um, I, I really like it. I would ha quite happily play that and, and sort of uh, in a meaningful sort of competition round. Right, so that's it, review done. Uh, I'm not going to have my two penneth in. I've not really played enough with the ball. I certainly will give it a go based on the opinions that we've just got. It was as fair assessment as we could give. No dry ball data once again, just honest evaluation of different levels of golfers playing it out here in some uh, certainly real conditions in that average golfer day. And Lewis got it a little bit easier, but again, uh, great to get feedback from every level of golfer. As ever, thanks for watching. Comments down below. Let me know if you've tried this golf ball and uh, if there's anything different, if there's negativity out there towards you, then please go ahead, stick it in the comments and uh, share that with your fellow golfers. I'm going to carry on enjoying the rest of this day. It's gorgeous. A bit different than Friday. <laughs>